Right, everyone. Um, part two. Now, what I've done is uh, I've painted the spit roast. Um, I've got it how I want it. I've got these to paint as well, but they're going to be silver. I've got the colours onto the board, but I need to whiten them up a little bit. It's not quite in, to, you know, in with that, and they're going to be slightly smaller as well. But um, it, we're getting there. Now I've got the floor started, which I'm going to finish that off with you in part two. We're going to do the sides in part two. Uh, but I just wanted to finish these bits. So there's this one, those, and this to finish. Uh, and then we can get on with other bits and pieces as well. So I now need to find... Oh, where's my silver? To start with, I, I'm going to... Where's my cloth? To shoe, to shoe. There we are, there we are, there we are. All I have to do is because they dry, see, they dry like mad. I, I don't use them as often as I used to. And I really should because they're good. So you just wet them a little bit. Um, and like I say, this is where I like to play. And we'll get a little bit on there, on the tissue. Uh, and then hopefully we watch this come alive. really need more than a tissue I think. Let me just wet that a bit more. I don't want to do it with a brush because it's too much. So we're just going to do it with a bit of tissue. And uh, you can see things coming alive. Let's turn the tissue around. And this is just the um, Inca Gold. I have shown you, you can get it on eBay. Don't pay any more than £4.7, no more than a fiver for it. Because some of them sell it for £18, exactly the same. They sell it for what they can get away with, basically. But uh, the cheapest one on eBay is £4.75, I think it was. <laughs> do you know what, I might just do it with my finger. I just didn't want to get any clogged. Uh, we'll do it with my finger. It comes up nice like that. And it's just a rub and buff type of thing. But you can paint with this, so you can wet it properly and use your paints. You know, paintbrush. I think we just have that like that. I don't want to do too much to it because it is a working, or well, supposedly working, um, fire thing. So just move that to one side. Uh, these will have to be painted, but not with that. Um, I have got some. My silver, what did I do with it? Ink. But for now, we're just going to leave those. That's. Uh, I've got to find the bird or make a bird, a chicken or something to go on anyway. And I'm having some that I can hang bacon strips from. So we're going to have two in ours. So that's done ready. And that will just sit. Let me just see if I can show you. Just sits like that in that fire. And that'll be nice. So that's the fire done. Pop that up out of the way. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of. Uh, sorry about that. I'm trying to load part one up and it's. Uh, oh, a nightmare. I'm just going to flick on a little bit of this rub and buff on there. Like you say, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. You know, I don't mind having a little bit on the deck. All 
around the edges. Sorry if you can hear my granddaughters, uh, they've got a friend here as well. I've come to help Grandad with the last bits from the unit. There we go. See how nice it makes it look. Just to put a touch on. You don't need much. The more rugged it is, the better, I think. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit around the edge there. And then... What I didn't do, I was going to put a pattern in the back, but you can't see it anyway, so I'm just going to rub a little bit of uh, rubber buff in the back, like that. And that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. <coughs> so that's the fire. Does look good, doesn't it? <laughs> that's the fire bit done. Now to this, because everything's going to be black. Well, I was going to do black and gold, but we're going to have silver in as well, I think. It just brings it alive, and that looks like wood. You know, there. I mean, it doesn't matter if I put like a uh, copper in with it or anything anyway. it's That's nothing that. We'll see how we get on and whether I uh, like it. stuff like this love doing things like this doesn't it? I mean even though it's not straight it doesn't matter at all then plates and um, whatnots will just sit in there like that there one somewhere wasn't there there was another one somewhere. Here we go. See, they're just sitting like that. <laughs> so that's another item finished. And uh, I think we'll get on and do these next. Now, um, the floor. That's what I was going to do. I'm just going to move my computer a minute. Now, what I've done is I've taken this ink, which is the, um, again, it's the walnut stain. And, oops. I've just rubbed it on and then while it's wet use my ink blending tool just to um, blend that in and when it dries it dries that colour oops and there's it nearly got me then I just want to keep going over it a little bit because it does have to be a little bit darker. Um, I think that'll do for that. So that's the floor. Uh, and then what I'm going to do, I've got the black. like that and just bring that in we've got to make that floor 
stand out. Turn that around. And you can do this as many times as you need to, to get the colour. I'm just going to... It's the corners you need to darken more. And then we just have to let that dry. And that's the floor done. And it's as quick and as simple as that. So if we've got the floor, and then we're going to put the house uh, together. The roof. Oh my! <laughs> I do like that. Oh, that's blended in really well. That's done a really nice room. Right. So what I'm going to do next is to um, colour these up. So I'm just going to do that one first. We've done that colour. Now we need to do um, the black. Where's my tool? Where's my tool gone? There we are. <laughs> then like I said, the rooms were, the kitchens were always dark. Right. Now what I'm doing is just sorting the table out. Now I, you know, old cooks had a nice big table and everything else just fit in. <laughs> and so we have to do the same. And I'm just painting the underneath of it black. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the top because it has got... Um, I might just keep paint it black, I don't know yet. I've made the legs. But the tabletop I already had. I need to also paint that. Now if you want to make taps, um, I mean it does depend, I'm going to, just going to do mine with um, wire. So, pliers, 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 got those, where's the others, there we are. So, if you think the shape of a tap, so you want it like that, I mean these are just going to be um, start bog standard, <laughs> bog standard taps. So I need to do the same again, I'm just going to try and do that again.
here. We got them about the same. Yeah. Yeah, they'll do. Maybe that can be bent a little bit more that way. That's it. And just poke that back. And we need them the same again. Now, I just have to see if I've got the right uh, thing for the end. There they are. They look like little snowflakes. I want the bigger ones, I think. Like that. Now, they may work. That looks like a small hole. better if they work <coughs> see it's making me think what is it I can use that will look like a tap Let's see a bit long but uh, I'm just going to cut those down I think although they did have long strangly or straggly, whatever you want to call them. Taps, didn't they? Fashionable today. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? There's one tap. That'll do me. See? And then I need a bit of piping. Now, I wasn't sure what to use for that, but then I thought we'll just use the, the um, uh, what should we call it? This wire. Just use the wire for the piping. So that would be ideal. So I'm going to cut some of that. I might need that. I'm going to need that. Put that in the window, move that over there, shift all this. <laughs> we can have coal after, I want a coal, I've got a coal scuttle that I want to fill with coal. So let's just have a look, see what we're doing here. Hopefully you can see. So, I mean, I've put that table in there, but, and I do like that size, but we can take that out for a minute. Now, now if we have that in there, because I want that at the front, that can be right at the front, actually, so we can see what's going off behind. But we can put the sink on here, because after that, I want this one as well, which is above the sink. Oh, do we need that? Yeah, we actually do. We need that high, you see. Made my mind up going on there. There we go. Check that out. And that's going right there. And I just need to turn that around, make sure I've got that low, not got that quite level there, missus. right that can go there 
and then we'll glue all of those in later on. So I'm going to take that out because I'm putting the sink on this side. Um, and we're going to have that going through the wall. <laughs> Which I will then be able to clip once it's gone through. So that's just a little bit of piping for that. Make it look like it's doing something. So I'm just going to paint this now. And then we'll fix it to the wall. I'll get my black paint. Nope, it's not, it's not dark enough. I'm going to put a bit of black on it, you know. That's better. That's how I want it. That's better. That's how I want it. Perfect. Oh, the art form of blending, eh? Right, that's better. That's how I want my table. Now I'm just going to shift that out of the way. Take the wipe. Must clean my desk off. It's really bad. Put the black there right, I'm just going to turn that off and turn it quite happy with it I've just got to do that bit when I uh, own that and that won't be so bad lovely yeah thrilled with that and then of course the oh, what's it stood on crap I mean table warp my map warped didn't it which doesn't help Yeah, when that's dried, that's going to fit onto there. Yeah, we still need to grubby that sink out. It's too grubby, it's too clean. <laughs> and I'll just use some brown, light brown or something. So I'm just going to let that dry. It needs to dry. Put it somewhere where it can dry. Mm. I'll just dry there. Um. Yeah, I'm quite thrilled with it. It's coming on really nice. I hope you're all enjoying it. I love the way I did the floor. And that was just to put a thin layer of paste on. Cream underneath. And then just um, paint over it and then shade it. So the way I'm going to do that is again just to use the foam board and I've got um,
It's all go. a bit of paper to uh, paint on because I don't want to get it on me thing it's hard enough to clean as it is right so like I say we just need to get rid of all the glue strands and whatever Hi everyone, right I just thought I'd let you see I have finally, finally finished the kitchen and as you can see it is a cram-packed Victorian kitchen um, and it's everything they would use so I'm going to talk you through it do you remember I started on the fire uh, making the backdrop and everything and the unit itself well there's all sorts on this one um, we've got a timer, little timer, the iron, all the skillets and everything. She has got a picture of her owners <laughs> and I did put a little parrot up here as well just to fill the gaps. It looked a bit blank up there. Um, the candle with the dripping wax as you can see. Of course if she's called she is a maid so she needs to be on call and there she is. She's got a broom and a brush in her hands. Uh, I have left that basket empty. I might put flowers in it. I don't know yet. Every, all the mugs and everything. The whisk. I made the whisk. Hand whisk. We've got the uh, washer. Uh, well, the roller. To you know, We had spinners and things like that. But back then, they had, you had to roll it through two uh, rollers. Um, she has got a couple of pots in the sink. I did make the sink. And there is a wire going from the bottom of the sink out into the back of the... But it doesn't show on the side. Um, a wash tubs and everything. Here's a fruit and veg and a bit she's growing and weed, uh, not weeds. <laughs> um, herbs and things like that. Now, um, hubby's just brought in, or whoever it is, just brought in some fresh crabs. We've also got a box of bits underneath. It does say vegetables. Watering can because they do grow their own. Um, uh I didn't have a dog small enough, so I faced it away because it's actually a fox, but it doesn't matter. Um, that's looking, waiting for scraps. The little tubs, this is for uh, puffing up the fire. I, sorry, I can't remember what they call it. Um, bits in the basket. She has to have a step ladder to get up to get the plates. Um, putting some little shelving bits and pieces, the bread, of course. And I don't like everything... Although I'm, I'm OC, uh, OCD, I, when I'm doing things like this, they have to be open. If you, you know, can't have the cl lids closed properly. Not all of them. Um, this was actually off, um, I cut the top off a, a coat hanger, a coat stand. And I never waste anything. But there you go, it's made a bottle. Some more bottles up there. The um, cups here, this is just drying. She's got a little bell. Um, this you can just light up at night. All the skillets and everything in the bottom and the, oh, and there's a barrel there. You see all the tools? Perfect for this project. Um, lots and lots of things. Her cloths, not that they're very clean, they need a wash. But down on the floor she's got some washing. She's got a cloth here. She's got bars of soap. I'd wash the soap if I were there. <laughs> She's fishing the basket ready to be washed for tea. She's coal that's fallen out on the floor. Um, little uh, bucket there. Table, absolutely chock-a-block. Buns ready to go in. Cloth on the table. Rolling pin. Vegetables that she's chopping with the chopper. 
cake. She's treating herself to a cuppa and a cake. Grinder. Um, some fish in there. And it's supposed to be like seaweed stuff uh, in there. And I'll have to glue that in. I thought I thought that I'd glued in, but it's not. Fish wrapped up in paper. So they're having a fish tea. Fish and vegetable tea. Some drinks on the table. Bread. Already sliced ready. And yeah that's my kitchen i am absolutely thrilled with it i have to say apps i do i love it and um it is for sale if anybody's interested but it's going to cost uh, you know a little bit more than the others because there's an awful lot gone in it and as you know miniatures are not cheap but i've made the units and everything myself even this one all the shelving and the fire and everything and the, and the table it was a tabletop i had and just made the legs for it but if anybody's interested in this then it is for sale just let me know uh thanks for watching take care enjoy the pictures i'm sure you will bye bye for now